Congress tried to block Trump from taking big steps to end the flood at the border and build the wall, but Trump seems to have won out in the end. He declared a national emergency to get billions to build the wall after he said they refused to make a fair deal. Congress voted to block him, which was within their rights, but then he used what was his presidential right. From Fox News. Trump used the first veto of his administration to reject a bipartisan resolution that sought to block his declaration of a national emergency at the border, a move almost certain to kill the measure. So Trump finally used his first veto, and he made it count. Even though a dozen Senate Republicans voted against him, that's not nearly enough to override him in a second round. So Trump won this round, but the public still might be wondering whether Trump had stepped a little too far. Then he got some major backup. The big guns stepped in to put Democrats and Republicans in their place, the new attorney general himself. From Gateway Pundit Agdil Barr, Mr. President, your declaration was clearly authorized under the law and consistent with past precedent, exactly the type of emergency that presidents are permitted to address. The top legal authority in America, Attorney General Bill Barr, is giving Trump extra cover. He explains that this situation is exactly what the law for national emergencies was created for. When people are jumping the border at a record pace and Congress refuses to take meaningful action, what choice does the president have left? The Washington swamp is not used to a president who takes action in the face of opposition, especially when he's rolling back years of liberal policies. So Trump used his first veto to get the wall built and has a great attorney general ready to support him.